Hi everybody and welcome back to episode 11 of our single player scum series. Um, it's nice to have you all back. Okay, so just look back in uh, where we were before. Um, just in the town, up in C3. Now, I wanted to save this town for, for this time because uh, I know that I know that we were running out of, of time last time and I think you know when you log in too close to a town, the zombies don't tend to spawn. So. Uh, that's why I parked up up here, um, in the hope that the zombies will uh, will come back. And um, I think what we'll do today is have a look at this this town here. So there's a town just in front of us over here. Um, see if we can find you know some resources. Um, and uh, you know a car obviously is always on our to-do list. Um, we have a bunker up here, but I think when I have a look at the tractor. We are full. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to make a trip home very, very soon. So we have a we have a bunch of space in our uh, in our inventory, but I think let's hit this town, see what we can find. Then maybe we'll head back down over here um, on the off chance that this might be, if I look really closely, if this might be a petrol station or maybe a little town. Maybe there's gonna be a car there. I think if we start heading back and. I want to check out this little circle here on the way back to our house. Um, obviously, it's quite close. We picked up a um, an airdrop that was over here somewhere, and we joined a road over here. But I didn't get to see what it was. It looked like it was on a mountain or something. So I kind of want to check that out. So I think what we'll do is we'll come up here. We'll save. We'll save this if it's a bunker. I think it might be a bunker. It looks like it's a bunker. Um, and obviously, we're right near the city, and <laughs> we all know how we're, how. We're, you know, zombie films go. You kind of stay clear of cities because you're going to get annihilated and by hordes and things. So, uh, if we were a real survivor, I think we would we would come back to the city once we have a bit more gear. Um, so let's check out the town, see what we can find. Let's grab our tractor, head in and see if, they, if we can find a little, any more resources, any more ammo, obviously a car or a vehicle of some sort. See what else. See what else we can find. Okay, let's hope. But guys, if you're liking the content, you know, as always, please do like, um, like it. You know, obviously, uh, there's a zombie there. Um, you know, like the content and subscribe if you're new. If you're liking the content as well, um, it's always nice to have new people, um, you know, liking the content, sharing, sharing it with their friends. It's very more, uh, more welcome, uh, more the merrier in. Uh, in this case, let's just run over the zombie. <laughs> right in the ass! <laughs> okay, there's a few here. Okay. This thing turns like a boat. Okay, we've got a fat one. There we go! Got him! <laughs> okay, not a lot of zombies. Um, you know, in the last episode, we, uh, we drove through this, um, you know, there was actually quite a lot of zombies, wasn't there? Okay, let's park it up here. Let's see what this town has to offer us. Walk in here. I can hear something coming in. Actually, it might be in the house. Let's take a look. Might as well start this end. Oh, hello. Okay, they're down. That was a nice easy shot. Let's see what we've got in here. Probably just some metal. Um, I don't think we need metal right now. I think we've got a bunch of metal in the uh, in the tractor, so I don't think we particularly need them. Okay, so let's find any resources that we can. Uh... Oh, hello! Double bang firecracker. Now this is one of the things that the new developers added. Uh, I really wanted to give this a go. I now wonder if. Oh no, I don't want to rest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> who sleeps with their gun like that? Right. Um, I definitely want to try this double bang firecracker. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but there's only one way to find out, right? By giving it a go. <laughs> uh, it's a pity we've just killed some of the zombies. Ah, a tourniquet. We'll take that. I think that uh, that can stop any major bleeding. Um, any C4s uh, in terms of our um, you know, the amount that we bleed out. Any zombies? No zombies? So, just for those of you who obviously you know, haven't played Scum before, 
and um, are relatively new to this game and um, you know quite enjoying the way that it works. <laughs> Some Santa gloves. Um, I obviously appreciate that this is um, you know, quite a complicated game. If you haven't seen it, uh, seen it or played it before, yeah, there's a lot of things that uh, that you need to look out for, and a lot of things that can potentially kill you. You know, one of which being food and water and drink. Um, you know, other obviously being being zombies. Ah, some dates. I'm just gonna have a look at the uh, the nutritional facts if I press the control button. Um, yeah, see, this is this is one of the things that I'm talking about. You know, it's. It's quite a complicated game, obviously, keeping up your vitamins and minerals. So we're just going to eat these quickly um, when you look at your metabolism and everything. So yeah, appreciate that, uh, you know, if I'm going a little fast, yeah, you know, please do message me um, or, or, or put a comment on. Let me know if I'm going too fast enough or if you want me to slow down um, and walk through things a little bit more. And yeah, obviously, if you have any general questions, I'm more than happy to help. Um, love to be able to give some advice to anyone who's relatively new to the game so yeah give me a shout let's just uh, make sure this is clear ah okay box of nails we'll use them we'll use them certainly um for building okay no zombies in here ah look at this primitive should we put it on see what it looks like Put our backpack down on the floor quickly. Oh, that looks so good. With the bow. <laughs> yes. That looks so good. I am taking that. Okay. Right, where did my... Uh... Okay. That fits over the top. I'll take that. Obviously, we weren't wearing too much. Oh, some more sunglasses. Okay, we'll, we'll swap them out. Durability was just a bit better on those ones. Okay, what else have we got to offer? A cork. Oh, also there's a mask. A Halloween mask. Some more metal. Yeah, so what we need... Ah, oh, grindstone. That's what we need. We need to probably repair this. So let's let's repair this quickly. So obviously I appreciate, you know, this, this game is, is quite complicated. Um... And obviously the things that you may or may not need to, to pick up, I think is going to be um, you know, one of those things that a, a relatively new player might not grasp too quickly. Um, and appreciate that. Obviously, you'll fill up your inventory with things you potentially don't need uh, you know, early on in the game. But I think as, as time goes on, you do start to need some of these things to, um, to actually create. Um, you know, it's just some better, better items, you know, better, better base building. I think it's going to be um, you know, something that's relatively important. I'm just going to jump in here quickly. Zombie. Zombie down. Anyone else? Walk in here, one out there. Let's see if there's anything in here. Got some shoes. Construction boots. How boots are doing okay so far? Hello. Where'd you go? What you doing? Where are you? Okay. Got them. Anything else? I've got a box here. <gasps> no way! There is a car! <laughs> oh, yes! Yes, we found a car! How does it look? It looks pretty beaten up. <gasps> it's got some battery left. And it's got some fuel. I don't want to start it just yet because the battery life. But we found a vehicle! Oh, oh yes. Oh, we have waited so long for this. Oh yes, we've we're gonna have to get the tractor up here to transfer all the inf the stuff to this. Oh, we have a vehicle. This is gonna make our life so much quicker and easier. I'm coming back for you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we needed a uh, advanced lockpick. Uh, I am over the moon with this. That's a nice colour as well. Look at this. That's got a lot of scrapes on it, isn't it? Look at that. Go faster stripes. And a sunroof. We'll take that. SUV. Oh, that has made me super, super happy. What a start to the episode. Oh, finally, that's taken us a long time. Oh, got some lip... Oh, and some battery. We'll use that battery and charge it up a little bit more. 
Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just gonna hold on F. What are we there? Charge battery. I wonder how much more this has given us. Not, not much more. What was that noise? Was that thunder? No? Okay. Okay, so it looks a bit beaten up. I think we can we can stick our heads under the hood <laughs> and uh, see if we can fix that. We have a few repair kits, I think, in the uh, in the tractor. Okay, over the moon with that. Oh, we've got some 22 ammo. We'll take that as well. A flare. We'll take the flare. We'll use that against uh, against some zombies. Use it use it as a bit of a distraction. Oh, beanie. Anything in this one? Construction boots. With our military boots, I obviously appreciate that they're pink. <laughs> oh, hello! Okay, you're down. <laughs> I think I got a bit a bit complacent there. Um, what was I saying? With our oh yes, our pink boots. Look at them. Because they have the space. They have the space to put a knife with military boots and combat boots. We're going to keep them for now. It just gives us a little bit more space. Do you know, I'm over the moon with this. I might even just I might just go get the tractor now. Let's get the tractor. We're going to have to load up all of our Oh, see this is a pain, but we're going to have to load up all of our stuff. Come on tractor. You've done your job. You've done us proud. In fact, we could probably transfer some of the fuel to it as well. How do you get through? Here we go. I need to open the gate. Okay. Let's just open this gate too. Right, run, run, run. Ah, oh, thank you for game providing me with a car. I mean, it's a pity it wasn't a... one of the, uh... big, big 4x4s. Those are my favourite. But this'll do. <laughs> this jacket is amazing. <laughs> right. Let's transfer some stuff. Uh, yes. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's get all the stuff in here. In fact, we're going to need to be careful with the way we stack the stuff. That can that can go on the floor. In fact, let's put our bags in first. The bags in. This, we may need to just use that. Okay. Oh. In fact, what we'll do is we'll put the bags at the top. There we go. Oh, that's big, isn't it? That is big. That is very big. In fact, let's just repair this now. Repair. I wonder how much are we going to get out of this? Oh, look at that. Looks much better. How much did that repair it by? Let's have a look. Oh, okay. So it's yeah, you know, in the bottom bottom right hand side. It's almost almost full health. That'll do. And the battery went up as well. In fact, let's fill the fuel. In fact, we can drain the other fuel. We can drain the fuel from the tractor, and we'll take that. We're gonna we're gonna leave the tractor here. We're very far up north. We're very far up north. We don't need to be driving one down, then heading back up again, and then driving another one. Oh, that'll be a pain. In fact, there was a there was a tractor around here somewhere, wasn't there? We drove down the. Is it here? Yeah. I think we'll get that tractor instead. If that's still there, I don't know if they despawn or not. OK, 
Okay, so that's almost down. Ah, oh, that was almost full. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right, that's all the fuel gone in there. Okay. That's exactly what we needed. Right, so this can go this can go in here somewhere. In fact, should we let's put that on this side. Right, we have a lot of stuff to uh, to move across. Let's have a look at the big and bulky items. Right, let's put these in cross. Just get a bunch of these in. Yeah. May have to do some some working around. But I think if we get the the tools and things up at the top, batteries. Any more tools? Got some more battery. Yeah, I got some weapon repair kits there. If we just sort the tools out first. Here we go. Some more here. Nails, bolts. Ah, something I uh, I realised um, whilst I look at the cigarettes, <laughs> I load the cigarettes in, is that um, the cigarettes you can't actually smoke them. You know, if if you watch the previous episode, we were trying to wonder how the hell do you smoke these cigarettes, and it turns out you can't smoke the cigarettes. They're not designed to be smoked. They're uh, they're actually designed as a more of a currency. So I thought that was very interesting. So obviously in the prisons, um, you know, cigarettes are traded as currency. So I think um, that's what they were potentially you know thinking of what they would what they would do with the game. So so I thought that was that was very interesting really. Um, right, let's put the let's just I think we're gonna get to the stage where we're just gonna chuck a load of things in. We don't need paper right now. In fact, there might be some things we we don't need the log. Let's uh, let's put the clothing in right now. If we have things in the in the right type of order, I think uh, that could really help us sorting it out in the future. There we go. There's some jeans. What else we got? Here we go. Jacket. More jacket. More jeans. Some shorts. In fact, this can go in. This can go in. That can go in too. Flint and steel can go in. There's a shirt. Okay, right, that's starting to look a little bit better. A little space here, which is a bit of a pain, really. I think we're doing okay. Right, let's put the food in. Food and water, or lack of water. So that can go in there. Any food? Can you see any food? Oh, that needs to go in there. Food. Pack it. Got some more tools. Put them in there too. Okay, I think it's going to be uh, almost time for the weapons to go in. Hopefully they all fit. Okay, let's get these in. This is certainly one of the most, more tedious tasks. Okay, let's get it all in. Get it all in. Yeah, appreciate this takes time. Apologies about that. Some inventory management might might certainly help. But it is so worth it when it comes to the car. This is a huge, huge upgrade for us, definitely. Now that we've just repaired it as well. Much, much better for us. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there, almost. Okay, we're running out of space on that bit there. Okay. Now, I don't know whether the tractor actually has more or less room. Does that not fit in there? So we'll take these things out here, so we know what we need to fit in still. In fact, this stuff can go in here. We definitely, definitely want this weapon. Pop that on the floor. Okay, let's see. There we 
there are certainly things that we can sacrifice, like the crossbow. In fact, is there any more room in these? Yes, there is. Good. That can go in there. Batteries, potentially, can go in there. We're missing some space there. No, I think, to be fair, we do have a shotgun. Do we really need one? Do we need a shotgun, really? Right, that bag's full. Okay, this one's quite big, isn't it? Okay, we've got a little bit of space there. I just wonder if this can go sideways in here, or if it needs to go up. How tall are you? Oh, you're quite tall, aren't you? It's so tempting to leave it. It is very tempting to leave it. Okay, we've made root from that. I wonder if the shotgun can fit. We do have one there. So don't potentially think we need one. No, I think that'll do. I think that'll do. I'll certainly do. We don't need any of this metal. We don't need any of this stuff. You have served your purpose. You've got a ton of battery, though. I don't actually think you can... No. Fantastic. Right. Everything's in there. I'm more than happy with that. That is absolutely what we need. We don't need the shotgun. We don't need it. Okay, let's just carry on looting, then we'll come back. Did we do this one? It's another biker's jacket. This one's got a different style, this one. It's like a skull with a gear on it. I love the what they've done with this and made completely different completely different designs. I'm happy with the one that we got. Oh hello. This could add quite nicely to you know the, the look that we're going for with our biker dude. I do think that uh, it'll be nice to change up our clothes from time to time. Let's just get out. Let's get our pistol out just in case. Another jock jacket. So the jock jackets, they do have a decent amount of space, and if you if you're struggling for space, they're pretty good. Obviously, they're not as good as the the tactical the tactical um, gear itself. Oh hello, what have we got here? Sardines. Ah, and we've got some more uh, boy pins. Oh, we don't need any. We got a we got a pack of twenty. It's fine. Got some more jeans. We'll pack. We'll take them for now. I don't know if we. Uh... Oh hello, what's this? Looks like a Robin Hood jacket. <laughs> we'll take that for our our outfit changes. <laughs> okay, what else have we got? Let's just quickly have a look at um let's quickly have a look at this side. What do we got? What's this? A Halloween mask. We've already got something on. We've got the respirator. Our anti anti COVID <laughs> mask. I think that'll be good. Ah, oh, some chan main. We'll have to eat that chop chop. What's this? Green sweatpants? I wonder if they go with that. No. They look way too green. Ah. Is this a little supermarket? Oh, hello. I've just put my weapon away. I think he's upstairs. Come on. Are you coming? There he is. Sorry, she? Is it just the one? Yeah, just the one. Okay. Nothing in there? What have we got? Someone else is awake. They sound close. 
Are they upstairs too? Yeah, must be upstairs. Where are you? I can see your hands. Oh, there's some more. They might be next door though. Ooh. Another M9. We'll take that. This bucket jacket, I wonder what this has. Whoa. Regulator, what's that? Regulators MC. That looks pretty cool. Okay, he must be next door. What do we got here? Watermelon slice. Let's eat that. Okay. That's not too bad. Not too bad haul. We found our car. And I think that's... that's this episode has instantly got better. <laughs> Straight away. <laughs> I am so, so pleased with that. So pleased with that. Um, let's just make sure our stomach is not getting too full. No, we're doing okay at the moment. I think it's what I really want to try as well is um, to put our, our hunting scope on the, uh, the, the 22 hunter. Uh, we can't open doors when we're doing this, can we? I can't even jump through anything. It takes a long time to eat watermelon, doesn't it? Yeah, I think if we, if we, um, if we can add to the hunting scope, add the scope to the hunting rifle, I think that'll be that'll be quite nice. Um, okay, what do we got here? Then we will be able to take people out from a, from a little more distance. Goodness me! Right, there's another one. I don't know how many ammo bullets we have now. Two. Just quickly reload up. I'm just going first person quickly. He wants to. He sounds very close. There we go. He's taken care of. I think in a normal a normal zombie situation, you wouldn't be rushing in to go and to try and meet them. You'd be waiting for them to, to draw them out. That's where I should have used the flare, potentially. Okay, there's no one up here. We're safe uh, for the moment. Okay, nothing in that one. Let's just check to see if there's anything. Ah, we have, we have a cargo drop. C4. No, sorry, C3. Right, we'll head out here and then take a look and see where that is. Okay, where are we? Ah, okay. Right, so that's actually on the way than where we were thinking of going down anyway. That just forces us down that route. Okay, let's grab the car. I think I think this... Uh... Oh, I can't wait to get in this thing. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Let's just put the gun away. Oh, I <laughs> can see our pink boots. But that's if there's a bit more detail. Oh well. Right. Start. Start. Come on. Yes. Okay, do not stall it now. <laughs> Let's get some battery life. Oh, yes. I've missed this. And the handbrake as well. Um, right, we are heading south. That's the way to go. Let's go. Okay, so, um, yeah. Apologies um, to everyone who uh, who thinks this game is slightly a bit, uh, a bit complicated. Um, I'm certainly with you and appreciate that. You know, everybody, everybody learns somewhere. Um, we finally got our car. We can start making some some real ground when you come to uh, you know adventurous uh, play and things like that. So we can. Uh, oh, I can see some towns and things over here. Ah, oh, here's the petrol station. That's absolutely what we wanted. But I think what we'll do first is we'll head. We'll head and get that. And then what we'll do is we'll see if we can fill up that jerry can because we are pretty full on fuel right now. Here we go. We'll pick up this. Uh... Oh, look at that. I miss driving. Okay, so we've got a little bit more battery now. I think on the journey home, it will certainly uh, drive the battery up a little bit more and charge it for us. Okay, so anyone wondering, 
you know how you actually um, unlock some of these uh, these I guess what you call them lockers in the uh, the cargo airdrops. The easiest way is obviously to have the uh, the advanced lock pick, but uh, you know that's one of those things that you generally find. I'm just using this up because uh, I think it's you know we'll we'll save that for when we uh, need the space. So I'm just going to craft some lock picks quickly from this. So anybody uh, wondering how to actually uh, to get into these airdrops, what you need is some lock picks, which you can craft from a a bobby pin, or if you have an advanced lock pick, and then you need a screwdriver, and together you'll use them to unlock. There we go. Together you'll use them to unlock the uh, these lockers, I guess. So all you need to do is a uh, press spacebar, move this around, and press F to effectively try it, I guess. And then wiggle around until you find it's uh, it's ready. Ah. We've got a Glock. Or block, sorry. So, yes, a silencer as well to go with it. Do you know what? We're going to take this. We'll take this holster. I'll tell you what I'll do quickly. To um, just remove that from my hands. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these things on it. Save some space. Perfect. Right, we have a, a little more space now. Okay, let's pick this lock. Press space bar, wiggle it around. Press the F key to try it. There we go. It's open. What have we got? Okay. Got some more nails and things. We'll take... Um... There we go. We'll take the toolbox. Let's pick this one. Give it a little wiggle. Here we go. What have we got? Some medical gloves. Now, one of the things I actually found with medical gloves is I think... I'm just going to equip it. It actually helps you with lockpicking. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, see, down there, you have the yellow glove. Whereas before it was uh, all greyed out. I don't, know, I don't know whether that was easier, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Oh, another chainsaw. We don't need another chainsaw, do we? We've already got a couple. Have we got a couple? We've certainly got one. We don't need another. Although what we could do, this one's 100%, we could change it for the other one. But have a chainsaw is a little bit of a faff when it comes to adding the... Uh... Oh, are we going to fail? There we go. It is a, it's a big faff when it comes to adding the, uh, the fuel. Not another katana sword. We seriously got another katana sword. What is this? This game is telling me that I am a ninja. That's what it's doing. It's telling me I'm a ninja. Ah, right. I kind of want to take it because I think I think they have different colours, don't they? Let's just see this. I think some of the katanas have different colours, so I'm going to see if I can just quickly take this. Is that going to fit? I don't know. I've got a little space down here. Let's put these down there. I think it only takes one by one. There we go. So we've got a blue one. What we'll do is we'll we'll check them side by side with some of the other ones. And um, oh, I didn't even use these. I'd use my advanced lock pick. Silly, but yeah, it's one of those things the game does. Okie doke. Right. I couldn't put my main weapon in my hand then, so I just had to move it across. There we go. I've got some medical gloves on. <laughs> Look at his blue gloves. <laughs> right, we're gonna take out this. We're gonna take out the um, the fuel station. See if we can add some fuel to the uh, the gas canister. In fact, I don't even know if we need to. But I think there's gonna be a C4 beeper here. Oh, I can see him just over there. Right. Let's get out. In fact, does anybody want to see us try this? No, I have no idea how this works. Let's examine it. What do we got here? Okay, so you can make a firework trap with it. But... Please tell me you have the ability to throw this thing. Hmm... 
who are we going to take down? There's two there. Right, there's one. And he is a beeper, so I need to I need to be careful of this guy. I can hear someone. There's two over there. Okay, right. That's good enough for me. Maybe I need to light it? Let's throw it. That did not work, did it? <laughs> okay. That didn't work. Right, where's that beeper? There he is. Oh. I've run out of ammo. Another one. Okay, they're down. Any more? Okay, we've got seven left. I'm bleeding, it seems. Right, where's that? There it is. Okay, so that didn't work. Right, let's just see how bad we're bleeding. Okay, it's just a C1. No problems. We're doing okay at the moment. Right. Anyone else here? I think we're doing okay for now. Let's just hop in. Ah, what do we got here? M1887. No, I don't think we need it right now. Ah, we'll take the slugs though. Okay, we can't take the slugs. <laughs> what, do we, what can we do? Eat the apple? Right, eat the apple. The slug shots. We'll take them. Ten rounds we could certainly do with. Okay. Anything else we need? There's a drink. In fact, let's drink it all. Okay, I think that's it for us. In here. We can go and get the car now. Once he finishes drinking. <laughs> He's still got the bottle cap on. <laughs> <laughs> that landed on top of me. <laughs> what? I bet I can't do that again. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, I need to be careful with my injuries. Ah, oh, look at the car. That's exactly what we needed. Just to have a car. Now we can actually go places. Come on, start. Yes, good. One of the things that uh, you know happens when it comes to the cars is that uh, if the batteries are too low, they don't start. They need to find a battery and charge it up. It's not as simple. It's not as simple as uh, grabbing a car and going. And you can also damage the cars as well. Okay, what do we? Yep, ten out of forty. Let's uh, fill this up. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we're just filling up our gas canister quickly. Okay, you're full now. Excellent. You can go in. There we go. Let's make our way back down. Okay, so we're heading back down south. Checking this place out. Ah, so, so one of the things that um, we came across in the last episode was also Big Vern. So if any of you watched the last episode, you would have seen us come across uh, Big Vern in the last in one of the last towns, and um, you actually found out that uh, you know, he was a he was a beloved um, person in the community that um, you know he was very active and you know people really liked him. So what they did was they uh, they created a a statue in his memory. And I think this game is is sort of wonderful for. You know, it's community. Certainly, you know, paying respects to people who, um, you know, are a big part of the uh, the way that people work. And, oh, there it is there. Um, so I think, um, you know, this is just a, another... Oh, hang on a second. Let's see where we're going. Right. We are... <laughs> we, need to, we need to go this way, I think. So another, another reason why this game is just so good is because they actually value the, the players that play it and their community. I think that 
that certainly deserves um, you know respect. It's got my respect. Hopefully, it's got your respect. I think they they're starting to add a few. Um, I think it's up here. Yeah, yeah, I think it's up here. Yeah, they adding things like this is just um, yeah, as testament to uh, you know the developers and how good they are and how you know respectful they are, especially towards their uh, their gaming community. So um, I think that's. Uh, I'm I'm actually really glad I I found that out. And I could share that with you guys. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna dive up here actually. Let's see what's up here. So we're quite close now. This is uh, what is that? It's got some pretty big towers. Is that almost looks like a castle from here. Oh. Stay on the road. My driving is just epic. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yep, epically shit. <laughs> oh, brilliant. That's what happens when you drive a tractor for so long. Clearly, I drove a tractor. For Whoa! Look at this. Looks like some some ruins of some sort. Oh, there's a zombie up here. Oh, there's a few zombies. I think I need to... Oh! Oh, this place is probably riddled with zombies. Whoa. Right. Get you. There's another road down here. Wow, there's a lot of zombies. Okay, I'm going to have to turn around in a second. Wow, look at this place. This place looks amazing. Oh, imagine having a base, like a fortress. Right, I'm just going to stop. Oh, this was such a bad place to get out of. <laughs> I got back in. Okay, right. There we go. Right, I'm getting out. I'm getting out of here. Okay, right, I'm just going to reload just in case. I didn't know how many bullets I had left, but there's more coming. Right. This place looks amazing. Right, let's just check out. Let's just check this. I don't actually think we've got... No, we've got no ammo in this one. Okay, I think we're flat out of luck when it comes to ammo for this bad boy. Okay, you're done. Uh, we do have the block. Oh, I need to urinate. Oh man, I hope it's safe to urinate right now. Okay, so we have we do have the new block that we can use. We picked up a bunch of ammo, so that's absolutely fine. We have a ton of ammo for the nine mil, so let's just carry on using the nine mil. Yes, yeah, so we've got two there. One here. So I think what we'll do quickly. Refill this bad boy. Um, I think that'll be it for for now. Okay, so we've got three clips. Okay, pop you back there. Oh, actually, we got four because we've got one that we're holding. Okay, so I think I've got a bunch of bunch of gloves. We don't need these. We don't need these gloves. Where's our tactical gloves? There they are. Okay. Right, tactical gloves back on. Okay. Let's just check our injuries. Okay, we've got a couple of injuries. 84% health. Our blood is... We lost a little bit of blood, but I think we're okay. As long as we take it easy. I think that'll be okay. Let's have a look here. There's a ladder. If I can get onto it. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> wrong side. What's here? Might be a give, give us a good place to scout it. Oh, hello. Is this a bed? Whoa. That scared me. Right, you're down. Oh, there's more, isn't there? 
Right, that's them taken care of. Let's have a look at these. Oh, a backpack. Look at that, that looks pretty good. And some more jeans. Okay. That backpack looks very cool. Okay, so he's got some military military trousers on. Let's have a look and see if he has anything useful. Just a tracksuit top. Okay, anything in here? Ah, some more pink boots. They're actually better quality than ours. Right, let's open this up. Take our knife out. Why not? Pink, bin pink boots are pink boots. <laughs> Woolen sweater. Oh, that doesn't have a lot of space there, does it? Okay, this, there is another level. No, what is this? Feuder's polished helmet. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> so, those of you who don't know, um, Feudal is a... Uh, what's it? Sean and Sean or Shockham. Mr. Feudal, to any of those who might know them, is a YouTuber who is... Uh, He's from Scotland. Very, very good, <laughs> and uh, he's actually one of the people that I that I follow on the um, on Scum. It's one of the reasons why, um, not the reason why, but one of the reasons uh, why I love the game so much and why I play. Let's just have a look up here. So, uh, a tribute to you, sir, Mr. Feudal, if you're listening. I admire you. I uh, think you're very good. Ah, uh, we've got some more zombies. Right, let's take you out. Okay, there is another one. Uh, oh, jeez, that scared the life out of me. Where are you? Okay, so you're not going to fall down on me. It's raining zombies. <laughs> okay, anything in here? A salt backpack. Another one. I do, I do like the assault backpacks. The black ones are really good as well. But we have one, so we don't need one. Okay, got some 22 ammo. And a medieval sword? I'm sorry, but I'm taking the medieval sword. Straight double-edged weapon with a single-handed... Cruciform hilt. Wow. I don't know what a cruciform hilt is. I know what a hilt is. A hilt is the uh, is the handle part. Okay. Let's give it that a go. Ooh, that's quick, isn't it? That's really quick. We've got a biker's jacket. Sorry, compound bow. In fact, I don't even know. Do we have... In fact... Can I put this down here somewhere? I don't even think I can drop this down here, can I? Where'd that go? Alright, let's climb down the ladder. I don't see it. Okay, it's down there. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine, we don't need it, we don't need it. We can find another one. We can find another compound bow. Oh, that was a big fall. Okay, good. I don't know if we've actually got any more space in the um, in the car, do we? Let me come pick up that compound bow. Right, how much space have we got here? What do we need and what don't we need? In fact, what about a sledgehammer? Does, does it... Oh, that's tiny! Okay, 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 okay. We're going back for the compound bone. Yes, I know you have to be careful with your injuries. <laughs> okay. Let's go get it. Let's get our compound bone. We want that. Can we reach from here? It's just there. Can we get it? Nope. Okay, up we go. 
Right. We got our compound back. Absolutely fine. Brilliant. Okay. So I've got the, the M16 right now is is going to be our melee weapon. Hello. Okay, there's a zombie down there. I wonder if there's actually anything here. I can see some platforms. Is there anything here? No. Oh, we need some stamina. Again, we're carrying a lot of things. In fact, do we need the bolts? We do have other packs of bolts. In fact, let's get rid of those two quickly. What's our stomach looking like? So we do have, we've got energy, we've got everything. Um, is there anything else that we can potentially ditch? No, we don't need a drink right now. Combined jacket, do we need that? Okay, let's keep going. Right, is there anything... Let's have a look behind here, actually. Might be something... Is it oh, through this little doorway? Nope, nothing. Can you get up here? Nope. What have we got? Nothing. I actually thought there was... Oh, hang on. I thought there was going to be something here, but... I may or may not be wrong. It's a little catwalk of some sort. What's up here? No, nothing important. Oh, hello. There's some boxes down there. Actually, there's some boxes here. What have we got? Just some metal. <laughs> some party sunglasses. <laughs> That's some open finger gloves. I prefer the blue ones right now. That's some more under... Oh, what? is there something there? It's not really a great deal here, though. Let's have a look at these. No, just some metal. Is this going to be anything that's going to be going to be that we're going to use or need? I don't think so. But this place would be good for a base, though, wouldn't it? Wow, this place is huge. Ah, some electrical repair kit. If there's anything, how do we repair this? What does that do? That's up to 100%. What did we use? The toolbox was 100%. Okay, so the toolbox is what we, we need in order to do bows. Okay, that makes sense. I know the electrical tool kit here we go, um, repairs these. So let's repair that. Nice. That's nicely, uh, nicely repaired. Anything else that needs repaired? In fact, I wonder what that scope is like in the car. Let's see if we can take this. Is this going to fit in here? Yes, there we go. Okay, so we've got a repair kit. Electrical repair kit, I think. Uh, oh, there's some more boxes. Razor blade. No boxes up there that I can see. Some more cars out there. Another box up here. Okay, anything else? Aha! We'll take that toolbox. There's 50 in there. Oh, there's a moat! Look at that! Now that is cool. Where is it? There it is. What's on the inside of the moat? Okay, some more boxes here, actually. A kitchen knife. <laughs> Double bang firecracker. Zombie. Anyone else? Okay, that's them down. Ooh. A 
This place looks great for a base. Maybe we put our base in the wrong location. Look at these. I got some lead plates. We'll take them lead plates. Make some more 9 mil ammo. We need to. Okay, nothing rags in there. More lead plates. Oh. We seem to be running out of room. Does this this takes up the same space? There we go. Just uh yeah, the weights couldn't handle it. Um did we do this one? Yeah, I think we did. There's a magnifying glass on top of that. Okay, nothing in there. Okay. Wonder if I can get up here. No, I don't think so. Let's go up the ladders. This place is amazing. Now, I wonder if this is actually a some ruins of a actual um, sort of well castle. I guess it would be, wouldn't it? I wonder if it's a ruins of an actual castle. Somewhere. Because I know that the airport, I think, is a uh, is a replica of something. Um, so it'll be interesting if, if a bunch of these things are actually replicas. Okay, nothing in there, one. No, nothing in there. I'm assuming these, these boxes have been put here with metal in them. Oh, hang on. Some binoculars um, to help you with base building because it's got it's certainly got some things in it that you're going to need like you know the, the, I guess the brake oil but metal as well metal wire oh, we've got another couple of levels Let's jump up here yeah I certainly bet this would be amazing for a base oh look at the sight lines on this I'm just gathering some stamina. Ooh. You definitely have to put up a few flags to make sure the zombies don't spawn. Okay. Look at that. Defending this would be absolutely insane. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. That's amazing sights, isn't it? It really is. Okay, there's nothing else up here. Let's climb down the ladder. Let's go grab our stuff. We can start heading home. We've got a lot of stuff in our car that we need to start off loading. And then we can go on some more adventures. Some, f some adventures further out. Uh, let's just see. We came in from this side, I believe. So we need to aim to the west. Yeah, this way. Yeah, now this place is absolutely amazing. Look at the look at the scenery is absolutely insane. Living here would be a really a really good treat, wouldn't it? Maybe that's something we can do. Is um oh dear, they taste funny. Yeah, we are certainly not strapped for you know where we have have our originally original base. Uh, I mean, yes, it did take us a little bit of time to to construct it, but that's the beauty of you know the, the base and the the ability to actually um, you know, move it and make new ones. So just because we have our base down here in B2 doesn't mean we can't move it slightly. There's a few cars here. I'm just trying to run out of stamina again. Let's go grab the car. In fact. There is a river that lies across here, so we may have to come come down the road. Oh, hang on a second, we need to grab some more. Okay, so I think we do have to come down the road here, because we can't cross this in a car. I don't know how big the stream itself is. And we have a massive forest here, so let's let's take, take the route down. So go around the castle, take the route down, come down here. In fact, we can, we can check out to see if the tractor is still there as well. If we come past it. 
Um, right, do we have space for this? Yes, we do. Excellent. Right. Oh, hang on a second. He needs to urinate. He needs to pee. That helmet, though. <laughs> that looks so cool. That looks so, so good. I wonder if it actually acts as a bit of some protection. It's almost like a uh, sort of medieval sort of helmet, isn't it? Something you find on jousting or something. Okay, where are we going? Going towards the east. Yep, that's the right way to go. Oh, look at this. This, I think, is a place that we need to explore a little bit more. But when we have a bit more space... Oh, look at this! Motorbike! <laughs> oh, you're not a car. You're not a car. You're not so important. I was just trying to <laughs> miss that log. Okay, come on, driving. At least we've charged up the battery a little bit more now, which is quite nice. Okay, we're going, we're going the right way. Okay. So we'll head back and um, you know deposit some of our deposit some of our stuff so that we can uh, you know free up the car with some space so that we can go on some uh, another adventure somewhere. Oh, that was a big crash, wasn't it? Luckily, the car is fine. What have we got here? Okay, so this is where the tractor was, I think. Is that tractor still there? Yeah, I can see it through the trees there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, tractor's there. So we don't need the tra we don't need to go back for the tractor. Yeah, there it is. Absolutely fine. For those of you who are wondering how to uh, how to do the handbrake turn, the handbrake is spacebar. Okay. Right, so our house isn't too far from here. Just past the river on the left. Oh, this is so much so much quieter and so much faster. Exactly what we wanted to and the colours of it is so good. Right there, we can see our shelter up there. Let's turn it slightly. Aha! Right, now we are surviving. And we got our motorbike there too. Oh, look at that parking. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, thank you so much for, for watching us and uh, coming on adventure. We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We found our car. This is exactly what we needed, and it is full to the brim. <laughs> Our car is full. We're gonna have to sort this out. So what I'm gonna do off camera is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna offload this, everything that's in the car. I'm gonna put it into the house. Um, we haven't. Uh, what's this? I don't even know what that is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna offload it into the house, and um, it's been, a, it's actually been a while since we've been at the house. Um, I'm going to take everything, all the weapons, put them away, put all the ammo away, and then what we do in our next adventure is, in fact, I'll have a, I'll have a quick think of what we can, what we can go. Maybe we'll take out the, uh, take out the airfield. Um, I actually heard that the, the A4 uh, docks are pretty good as well. So, I think there is certainly something that um, that we can do when it comes to, um, you know, looting. And start thinking about the city. I mean, the city is going to be full of resources, full of ammo, full of weapons. I imagine it's, uh, you know, really, really good. But we have to be prepared when we go in there because it's just going to be lots of zombies, isn't there? If you think about real life, if you think about The Walking Dead, all those people who used to live there now zombies. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be an interesting one. Or we take a look at the, uh, the, the air base. 
we've definitely got a lot of a lot of things that we need to go through we've got a ton of the map that we haven't even seen yet we've got this island down here and a few islands we've got shipwrecks that we need to take a look at uh, and loads of different towns we even got a, a d4 i don't know what that is it, it, to be honest it looks like an airstrip like a few airstrips coming in maybe a cargo type of facility i'm not entirely sure but i think we need to we need to check that out but uh, guys thank you so much for watching um yeah really appreciate it and subscribe if you obviously uh new and want to keep up to date with our with our uh <laughs> with our content that we're posting out um and obviously hit that like button really really appreciate it if you can do both i would so appreciate it um and we obviously we found feudal's medieval mask look at that that is amazing um, so guys thank you very much for watching we'll see you guys in the next one taking it easy and stay safe see you later